on Moto3 podiums in this 2022 season with the two Aspar riders side by side. Onto the podium then we come. Jorge Martinez Aspar knows he's got two absolutely incredible talents within his pit box. Tatsuki Suzuki did everything he could today despite that long lap penalty to try and keep on terms with the leaders. He just ran out of time. He fell three hundredths of a second short of a second career victory in this, a third career victory, should I say, in this Moto3 class. But for Sergio Garcia, victory number seven for him. A magnificent seventh victory for the championship favourite as the Oakley senior manager of sport marketing, Tarek Dadul, will present the Constructors' Trophy for Gas Gas to extend their lead in the Constructors' Championship, of course, with another victory for, the, for them, their fourth victory from eight races in 2022. Tatsuki Suzuki receives his trophy from the mayor of Scarperia, the San Piero Federico Iniesti. Suzuki, of course, who spent much of his career riding for Italian teams, so he certainly has an affinity with this part of the world and a much needed result for him. It's been a long time since he was last on the podium and Air Bastianini, a good friend of his, congratulates him. The president of the United Municipalities of Macello, Stefano Pias Pesatiori, will present the trophy. Ivan Guevara, of course, thought he'd be standing around six feet to his left when he crossed the finish line, but that penalty after the race relegates him to second. But Sergio Garcia extends his lead in the World Championship. He's now 28 points clear. The FMI president, Giovanni Coppioli, president of the Italian Motorcycle Federation, gives him a seventh career race winner's trophy. As Garcia raises a loft, points to the sky. Garcia underlines his World Championship credentials with a magnificent seventh career victory here at Magella. More glory for Garcia then in the 2022 Motor 3 World Championship. Great job by him then on that Val race, the Gas Gas Aspar team machine. As the podium celebrations get underway, our cameraman gets a good <laughs> soaking from the Prosecco as well. Gino Borsoi, big, big smile on his face, of course. The Italian who's done such an amazing job as sporting director of the Aspar project. He'll be loving life at the moment with his men.